Hello and welcome to the Simply Cup, which is having internet issues right now, but hopefully we're fine. Hopefully it's only going to work from now. We are live because of those issues. But this is week 13. And I will say that this is either very unlucky for some people or very unlucky as it is going to be a full ice edition. Some people love it, some people hate it, so it depends on what side of the 13 you're on. But uh, people have had a bit of practice on this while we've been having internet issues. So Belinga with a bang of a run there, 28 seconds. Bob and Sophie also on a good run. We are just going to roll with it though. 13 maps this week uh, for the unlucky 13. So it's going to be slightly longer than usual. Hopefully everything is going to work. Let's go to a POV. Agra is our quick... Uh, quick access so we will go for the aggro to start off does slide out though we'll need to full respawn let's try bird who says fuck ice but is currently in first so is he going to change his opinion probably not but can he control it all the way to the finish is he going to go for a small shortcut yes he is he clips but does save it it's going to be sophie zyral and a few others just passing bird as he hits the snow there uh bird with top 10 pretty good from him Sophie, though, with a bang of a run. So, Harold, I think, went for a 360. And got it quite good. Henry, Fuba, and Bob. The top five. Belinga only getting nine. Zemus only with seven are the big changes there. So, Bob and Sophie really going to advance with that one. Hopefully, the, uh, the server is working. We had issues with that again as well. This is just... A very unlucky 13 for me, obviously. But hopefully everything is going to work. Let's get into the casting mood. Neodym is on the camera right now. Sandro Zemus on a good start. Neodym also on a great start here. Going to get the counter drift right now. Going to go for the shortcut. No, he isn't going to take it safe. So he does fall off the edge a little bit. Puts him in a good angle for this, but has lost a lot of speed, a lot of angle. A few players needing to overcorrect there. And it's going to be Bird. Getting first place this round. Needham still getting 28th. We are back up to 75 players, which is great to see. So I hope for some good competition, good maps, and a lot of fun. Hopefully some people haven't left who are watching live on Twitch. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, it's annoying when we have these issues. I, I get into the mood to cast, and then I just get wrecked, and I lose all track of everything. Holy Thanks, Kevin, for the host. But uh, if we thought the first map was a bit of a skill map, here we have a nice Holy lol map. Very frosty as well, thank you. So there is the fancy thing of the lol edition what? couple of days. Excuse me? And this looks very similar to it. Not quite the same, but I saw the description of this map and it said... It is in the remnants of that. Skellion as well with a resub and now what? getting five gift subs. Excuse me? As well. Thank you so much. That's extremely kind. What a way to start the Simply Cup. Hopefully it does work. What? I'm going to watch Drac here Excuse me? for the warm up. As we see people yeet into the sky. This is going to be quite an entertaining one. Excuse me? There isn't full skill maps in this. There are some mixed low maps, some different maps as well. What? I really hope that this Excuse is going to be me? a good addition here. Oh, Drac with a nice flick, but isn't going to be able to get what? to the finishes. Excuse me? Oof, that's a lot of speed to handle. And out with a follow as well. Appreciate all the subs, follows, hosts, and some hey, notifications. That's pretty good. Go off right in time for the live round. Let's watch an Australian, Mr. Professor. It is his first time playing a Simply Cup. So let's see if he can get a first place on this run right here. Good luck. Have fun. What a map. Can Pro control it right here? Let's find out gets the boost onto the slide 
struggling to handle it, but that's a safe line. That should give him a good bop into the finish if he can clip it. Does clip, but not where he wants to, and it's going to be super Simon Smithy Similk and Neardom. I think uh, Pro retired there by accident. That is not something you want to be doing. This is a map where you can pick up a lot of points. As you can see, 50th place they're getting, 120. Maybe a few people should try a flat respawn instead of committing off their respawn. But that is going to cause carnage to the leaderboard there. Not that many people finishing. It's going to be Zyral who is out in front, Bird, and then Fuba. Let's go to Beatsky though into this next round. Going to handle this really well actually. Can he get the jump? That's a good angle. Going to jump off early but isn't going to get it. And we're going to see Simil get another bang of a run. Agron, super, once again, also getting a great run. And Zyro with some big boy points to help him out at the top of the field. Let's go to the drone camera and see who is struggling, who's getting the yeets. Lots of cars flying absolutely everywhere. That is fantastic to see. <laughs> cars going everywhere. That is the timeout, though. Once again, a lot of DNFs. Zyro though, good for him, Bird also picking up some points, let's go to Zemus this time, see if he can do it, Itch not liking this one, Handsome saying bruh, so a few players not liking this, Zemus on a good start, doesn't get the yeet though, let's move to the drone camera, who's it going to be, it's going to be Sophie, getting it, rear hack Zyro, Smithy and Peppy, the top five. Lots of players still stuck at the respawn. A few players going for a hard respawn. There is the faster line of going off early here, but I, if I was uh, playing it safe, I would try and yeet off these edges, and then you would get a further distance jump. Near them, and I think it was Dennis there, maybe not getting any points. So lots of changes early in the respawn. Kip saying that it wasn't really respawnable. Well, that sucks, but that is the luck of the draw sometimes. Let's go into map number three and see what we have. We have another low one. Fantastic. Getting all the low maps straight off the bat. This is what we love to see. Funny snow track with walls. Is it going to be funny for the players? Let's find out. Who is going to win it on this one? Excuse me. Let's go to a PV. It's going to be a Wolf Puppy. See how he does the first one. I go for the ice slides, but uh, it is plastic walls, which means you can bounce very, very, very quickly. As you can see, a couple of players getting the speed there. So some players going for a manual drift. Some players trying to get the uh, the boost there. Who is going to succeed? Who's going to fail? Who's going to take it safe? As Wolf Puppy is carrying his line through, but does get a yeeted the wrong way a bit there. Covers nicely. And then I think there is a finish line around this corner. What a fantastic map that is. So who is going to succeed? Let's go to Vibro. See if he can vibe his way through the map. He's practicing these war hits right now. Getting a few quite good, but slowing down there. Let's see if he can get it fast. Someone says no CP, so make sure you guys don't respawn. Otherwise, this is going to cost you quite a lot. Live round though, good luck. Let's see who strives. Viber going for a pretty flat line. Going to take a normal drift first. And also taking it safe, Simon and Sophie the first to get the speed. Sophie did win a similar cup of the day here. So is striving on this one. Maybe going to start the uh, timeout quite early as well. Viber doing pretty good so far. Currently around 15th place, I think. Getting that drift quite nicely into the wall, though. There's a few players getting a better bounce. Viber is still taking it smooth. Let's go to a drone camera to see who's going to finish. Sophie is not in the line of sight. So it's going to be Bob, Jarbo, Gandhi, and Similk. Still doing good. Super as well doing well. Need him, and then there's Sophie, who's still got 90 points. 
couple of people already not liking this though. I'm sure we have some better maps coming up. I wasn't expecting all the lore maps straight away. I'll put it that way. But, uh, Zyral, Sophie, Bird still picking up a good amount of uh, points. Simok as well. Let's uh, continue in the drone camera actually and see who is going to try and get some higher amounts of points getting the highest speed. Players like Paul, Dombear trying it a little bit. You have Simon on the car though. Taking it pretty safe, pretty easy. But as you can see, players who are risking it, maybe are striving a little bit. It's going to be Bird who's currently in first. Simon is pretty close. This is actually quite a lot closer than I thought it was going to be. It's going to be Dombear currently out in first. Is he going to get the best? No, it's going to be Paven, I think. Beatsky also getting it really good. It's Similk with a nice drift there. And... Uh, Thrist as well, a good finish. Simon taking it safe, middle top pack, and then we have the rest of the field coming through nicely. So people complain about the map, but everyone finishing. I think that's a good map when everyone can finish. Six and nine players, that is very nice. Going into the final round, Aona not liking it, dropping down the field a little bit. Let's go to Chalky though. Does make some low maps, so can he strive on this low map? Gonna go for a wall bounce. Kind of getting it quite good. Carries the speed properly, but full sending it too far on this next one. So we'll drop it down a little bit. Making the drift safe and easy. Still trying the wall bang tactics. If he can get it once with a lot of speed, then he will push up quite far. Let's go to the finish line once again, though. It's going to be Gandhi, who's currently in first, gets the drift nice as well. Jarbel and no one else near Gandhi right there. So it's going to be Bob, Ice, or Sophie, sorry, Zyro and Baven. The next few players. And only just coming in now, so that is why. Minus minus sync, Zyro as well, not enjoying this one. That is really good for... Wait, Zyro getting a lot of points, but still minus minusing. Sophie gaining a lot as well. But you thought the last map was good. Look at this. What a fantastic map. This is all we need for Simply Cup. <laughs> this is the Simply Cup maps we love to see. Fantastic. This is two laps, I think. Might be three. Who is going to be the best at their bob sledding? <laughs> Where is GPS? <laughs> I don't think that's how it works. I mean, Villa 1. Oof. That's a big score one. Alright, let's check out Wheels, who is in the Mark Chia Cup. Mark from Germany, great streamer. Make sure to check him out. Doesn't play the Simply Cup, but he's a great guy. So, Sophie, who is really good at ice. Bird as well, doing really good. Apparently the top players. The players really picking up a lot of speed who can uh, control their angle quite good on this. Wheels getting the unlucky rotation there. As we see, probably the top players coming through that now. But <laughs> if you have too much, you can fall out. So, this could change up the field once again. These maps so far have not been kind for the top players. But Zyral, Sophie, Bird, Simulk, and Bob holding their own at the top here. There is a lot of players pretty close though. A lot of players in the 500 and 400 range. So, still anyone's game. Let's go to Smithy, a fellow Australian. See if he can do this one. Quite good. Goes pretty safe into the red zone. That's where you want to be. And then hold your car at a certain angle. I think it's like 30 degree or something. So Aaron and Sophie currently doing it very good. Smithy out in 14th. Is a bit shaky going into this one. Controls it well though. 
That is a good angle for him. Picking up a lot of pace now. It's starting to be a lot more difficult to control. As you can see, Charbel there struggling a little bit. Smithy with a bit of a rope. And we're going to have a really close round. It's going to be Sophie. No, I was expecting Bolingo and Henry there to be the top runners. Sophie just out running everyone. Good round by her. Frazix and uh, Iona and third the next few positions. A few players still falling out, although they might have gone over the finish line already. What a fantastic map. This is all your Simdigup needs to be. I'm still looking for maps. There, I thought there was um, a few people who were looking to make some maps, but uh, I haven't got any submissions in the last like two weeks, so please send some maps through if you want to, or make your own edition. I think uh, I was going to say we're locked on Pormal, who does have an edition coming up. But of course we're locked on to Blingo because his car is custom. Sandra as well, doing quite good, but it's going to be Sophie, I think, once again, out in front. No, Zyro and Gandhi in the way. Blingo doing really good so far, though. Controlling his way with a bit more speed as well. Zyro sliding out a little bit. Blingo having to go a little bit safe on that one. So Sophie looking to pick up the points right now, overtaking a few people as well, overlapping. And Sophie with an absolute great run once again. Someone doing a wicked finish there. Mel and Justin, Vibra, just some of the players coming in now. So really, really good points for Zyral and Sophie here. Sophie actually going to go into first. But Simak Blingo still picking up good points as well as Guardian Frazix. Really good rounds for them. Bob losing a little bit there. The leaderboard very, very close still. Let's go to someone a bit further behind, Relic. I appreciate all these players who maybe aren't the top. Still giving it a go. Let's check out Relic for the first round. Gets it really good, actually. But a few players just with that better line. It's really, uh, really saves a lot of time. The uh, differences of small movement in these bobsled maps. So Relic starting to wobble a little bit. Will struggle, but saves it well. So maybe go to the overview. Check out where everyone is. Top positions currently going into the first turn of the final lap. As a few players also hitting that, but Sophie getting the three out of three. Bird, Blinger, Aona, and Zyra with good runs once again. Sophie absolutely on fire right now. In the opposite weather on ice. Bob, though, not on the greatest run this time, only getting 50 points near them. I think, rage quitting because he's found that it's an ice edition as well as Frist. That is disappointing. Do you need a macro here to be fast? I think it does help for the first lap, which obviously if you get the first lap good, then it really helps. But I think, uh, I don't think it matters too much unless the first lap one really, really helps that much extra. But here we go into yet again, another very simple map. Who is playing Tokyo Drift right now because that is going to help them with this very close map. But probably being able to do the entire map in one slide. So, brake tapping and releasing will really help you here on this one. But Wolf Puppy going for a... Just warming up the tires on, on the ice. No, he is going to try and go backwards. That is interesting. Let's check out Peppy, who is in the field. I do wonder if there is a cut on this, because it is so short. Peppy missing the gear a little bit there. That is going to be what matters on this. Hope you also don't get dizzy, because... We are going left and more left. But, uh, cool little map by the looks of it. Could be quite difficult to control the gears, though. As Pep is getting a little bit unlucky there. Check out Naga. Trying not to uh, drift too much, but that's probably not the tactic you want to go for. You really want to be uh, turning hard and then using your brake to hold your drift or releasing if uh, you need to go back on your angle. Naga though, can I go backwards? 
Not sure if that's going to be faster by the time you turn around, but maybe, maybe. Let's go to Sophie. A request from Kevin to see how she is going to do it. Of a slower start, but has the perfect angle. Zyral also getting a wicked angle there. Not going to quite get it. Zemus in the battle with Sophie right now. But this is the Tokyo Drift. I'm talking about Zemus with the unlucky gear there. Dennis Bird, Agra right behind. But, ooh, I thought Dombe was actually going to overtake. But Sophie dominating once again. Being able to control this Tokyo Drift slide all the way into the second lap. That is a banger of a run. Well played by Sophie. Going to win by two seconds. Very impressive. Heard Fubert and Henry. One's behind. A few players struggling a little bit. May have slid out a little bit. Um, definitely not the easiest map to be able to hold like Sophie did so well there. Go to someone maybe midfield. Let's go to Justin. See how he's doing. Want to actually go into checkpoint in first? Getting the brake tapping at the right time. This is a really good run from him so far. He is certainly playing Tokyo Drift right now. Slides out a little bit, controls it really well. A few players just overtaking there, but Justin, too much of a follow through angle. And will be eliminated. Well, Zemus, who has, is out first. I think that's going to be him coming over the line right now. Nope. Yes, it is. It is 32 seconds once again. Getting it all the way. Bird Gunny, Henry, and Sophie. As always, doing quite good. This is a proper skill map here after some of the more lucky maps. So... These top players still dominating the leaderboard. Let's go to someone in midfield again. Drafty, fellow Australian. I'm gonna try and save it a little bit. This is a good start. Overdrifts a little bit, but is saving a once again goes a bit too far though. Sophie and Zemus, some of those players making it look so, so easy, but you miss this uh, angle just by a snippet, and you can be out by such a short amount. King struggling a little bit here, as we have our first place going across the finish line, and that is a wild bit of difference. Five seconds nearly in between first and fourth. And it's on an absolutely crazy run. King though being able to finish. Keep going for some wicked 360s. And that is really good for Dennis. Who I think is kind of midfield at the moment. Not sure I can't find him. But uh, Sophie. Doing really really good. Still out at the top. But uh, I heard you guys enjoyed AO8. Here you go. Ice AO8. It had to happen. I'm sure a few people predicted this. Because it's just such an iconic map. So we have freewheeling. We have no steer. We have a reactor down. What a wacky and wild map. A lot of players already liking it. Which is good to see. It's going to be the best though. Maybe this will be a lot closer than last round. Let's go to wheels. Actually, let's go to Drac. No, let's go to ABX for the first warm-ups. As we have a very mellow bit of volume here. As there is no engine. ABX trying and seeing if he can uh, finish backwards, but he forgets that there is still the freewheeling. So not a easy one this here. I do wonder though if there's going to be zoop potential. That would be quite fascinating. Sandro, Sophie, Asman trying their luck there. As you can see, ABX getting a bit of a zoop there, so I think it is possible. 
Let's go to someone we haven't watched, someone very down the field, Quim. How is he going to do this one? Let's find out. Taking it a bit safe as he's rocking a little bit. Oh, going to get an unlucky bounce there, but that is the warm-up. Let's hope he has a good life round. Here we go, good luck. You probably will need it here. <laughs> Excuse me. Oof, into the pole a little bit, but gives himself a good angle. Let's maybe move a little bit further ahead to see closer to the battle. This is going to be really close. Baven nearly getting the first, but falls out right in the end. It's going to be Benno, Kua, Kip, and Justin getting the top positions. Crazy close round that. Really doing it backwards. I like it. Is he going to make it? Oh, he does. Beautiful. Pormal. I don't think makes it. <laughs> Wait, did you make it, Pormal? Oh, that is a disaster, Pormal. That is unlucky. Let's go to actually check out Pormal. I reckon he is going to control his emotions there and uh, be able to control it for this next round. Look at him go. Straight line. Down into the middle. Can he get the zoop? Is slightly behind. He plays getting the start really good. But this is where it goes a bit wild. Pormal going for a wicked stunt. He will control it. Back forward, back forward. Does control it. Gets 32nd. Billy. Or Bitly, sorry. Justin, Super, Cure, and Aeon are the ones who get the most points this round, though. Shroopy will have to full respawn. Pormal, what a radical run there. I could not commentate fast enough. What was going on? <laughs> I like to see it. Absolutely wicked, mate. That was hilarious. Bitly enjoying that time in the limelight. Let's go to Itch, though, for this final round. It is very short and sweet rounds. Itch getting a pretty good start. Going to be in the middle. Ooh, saving it, though, compared to a few other players. So he makes sure he gets the points. It's going to be Baven No Bird. Getting the top position. Safe round by Itch gets 28th. So a lot of people having to respawn this round. What happened here? Everyone full sending it on the uh, final round here by the looks of it. 28th with a safe run. That is half the field needing to respawn. That is a lot. This map is so free, says Kip. Yep. Struggling a little bit on some of the other ones. Trolling a little bit as well. But uh, liking the AO8 vibe here. The AO8 is over as we move on to the next one. What is it going to be? Let's find out. It's going to be a nice snaky looking map. Quick and easy. Back into the skills we go. I expect these top players. Who is it currently? It is Sophie. Only 60 points ahead. Followed by Zyral, Bird, Frazix, Bilingo. Let's see. These top players, I think, will continue to pick up good points here. As we have a pretty clean map. Let's go to Fan Vader. Ooh! But I think there's a little bit of something on this. I was not expecting this. I think we're look locked into camera three which changes this quite a lot. Gives us a wicked Tokyo Drift perspective though. So that is an interesting mix up. Unless my camera is bugged, but I think it might be camera three. Epic cam scam, it is indeed. That is hilarious. I did not know that for this. I thought it was just gonna be a simple snake bend of a map. So Agon trying it quite good, but we'll hit a few walls. Who will be able to do the ice slides in camera three? Never done ice in camera three. Yeah, it's not really the suggested camera. Let's go to Odin Theory though for this first round. Getting the drift in first, actually. And then we go Wicked Wild, taking it safe, getting the Wallbang penalty, though. Moving down to 35th, which isn't still bad. Can 
catch up a lot with a good drift, which he does get. That's a bang of a run, but there's going to be a few plays just about to finish. Agra, Gandhi, Bird, Wolf, Puppy. Uh, Odin getting back into 11th there. Great second last corner there. Jarbel, Chaki, and Zemus. Also doing very good. Good race at the uh, top. Only a couple thousand in between them. That is what we like to see. Let's go to the camp 7 for this next one. As it's such a nice overview here. Dansky not finishing, surprisingly. So, uh, move in very close. Let's pick someone. There we go. It is going to be Ben. No, it's going to be Don Bear. Who got it really good at the start, but now struggling a little bit. Let's move up to the top. It's going to be Similk. And you get this second drift. Wicked and wild. Yes, he does. Zyro out in a great position. Similk hitting the edge a little bit, but going to pick up a top 10. Good run by him as the rest of the field dropping in now. Easy peasy. What a map. Oh, Dansky having control issues. That is unlucky. Smithy moving up to top 10. Good by him. Super, I think, dropping down a little bit since last time we checked. But uh, let's see if he can do this round good. Gets the first drift well. Gets the second one really clean. Oh, just sniping that wall, though. Puts himself in a good position for this next one. However, but over-rotating just a little bit. Let's move to the top camera. It's going to be in tight battle between... Sophie and... Who was it? I think it was... Uh, I can't remember. But uh, Sophie just sniping it from Gandhi here. Justin, Simil, Peppy and Cyril. Ending the top points. But, uh, everyone being able to finish. Sophie... Really dominating that one, has moved 100 points ahead now. But, uh, one bad round and one good round from Zyro. And we are very, very close once again. So it's not over till it is over as we have a wicked map once again. Everyone loves red boosters. How epic. So there's a, there's a small story behind this one. I got this when I was playing the random all the time challenge. And what an amazing map this is. I'm just going to let it speak for itself. <laughs> a lot of people in the chat very excited. That's good to see. Let's watch Henry for the warm up. So easy, right? Easy. You just do a flip and then you get a plastic bounce. How hard could it be? And then invisible plastic blocks. Easy, easy. What could possibly go wrong? There's nothing that could possibly go wrong in live round. <laughs> ah. There's also something I haven't mentioned yet. Which I'll, uh, I'll sneakily show you guys, because this also cucked me on my random author time challenge time. <laughs> There's some wicked pinballs, though. <laughs> oh, Dennis with a hole in one. Gets it. <laughs> what a map! <laughs> What a fantastic map. Good luck. Have fun. Here we go into the live round. <laughs> Who is going to get it the fastest? A few players getting the pinball very quick. Looks like Bob and Merlin the first is out. Oh, Bird with a quick snipe. And he's going to get it, I think. Oh, he hits the finish. Did he hit the finish? Oh, no. That is not what you like to see. It's going to be Senesco. Super. Checky and... Bird does finish, so I'm not sure what happened on his finish. Dennis and Smithy as well. This is causing carnage, though. I think some of the top players have not finished yet. Sophie struggling. Zyral struggling. Similk dead. 
That is a lot of DNFs. And as I said, one round can change it all. Cyril, though, not getting a finish. Let's continue watching Similk. Who did struggle last round. Maybe he gets a bit more luck. Is on a, a good start. Going to follow through with some bounces. Getting a bit of speed now. Hence the cactus, which I was talking about. Doesn't know about the invisible bounces at the end here. So Pormal now getting first place. Fucking Pormal. Getting it well. These nabs, who I think joined late on that other round. Getting second. Merlin as well in third. What a round and map this is only one person in the top 15 positions finish. That is really good for Frazix right there. <laughs> that is a disaster. This is causing carnage right here. Gonna be Agra getting a good start. Vibra hitting the finish. Agra will be the one who gets it well. Starting the timer very early. <laughs> Glad I didn't. <laughs> Holy shit. Indeed. I think we've only had about 10 finishes so far. Bird finishing though. Gandhi, Smithy, and Fuba all in the finish. <laughs> what a map. I love it. That was a fantastic one. On to the next one. That is what we love to see. Fucking <laughs> hit two miles. I saw. But uh, if we got a lot of DNFs last round, we go back to a lot more of an easier map here. People should be able to finish this one. Holy shit. Sophie not getting any points. Bird closing in with the 70 points at the end there. Cyril, Frazix, Gandhi, and Similk. The top six. So there we have the one I was waiting for. Holy shit. That caused carnage going into the ninth map, I think. I think I've miscounted, but we'll pretend that this is the ninth map. Let's check out Justin going into the warm-up. There's not much to say on this, though. Got to get that reactor slide, get the boost, and zoop into the finish. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Not much to say on this. People have a lot of warm-up time as well to practice this, as it's such a short map. Super, super easy. But, Kip, what the fuck are you doing? I see you. I respect this. I respect it. I respect these. Justin trying some five head as well. I respect it. Bob, including in the five heads. All right, who is going to risk it in the live round? A few players not really making it. So it is going to be quite a difficult shortcut. But as you can see, Simon, I think it was very, very close. I'm going to stay in the overview camera. Who is going to be ballsy one here? Gandhi, I think, completely missing that. You have to get the... Boost, Smithy and Justin, the early ones. Justin going to get it fast, but not enough. So let's move to the actual battle. It's going to be Tiggy, Beesky, Zyro, Shroopy, and Baven. What a battle. Wowee. Smithy. Hey, he got it. A bit slow, but also getting a bit wrecked at that finish. Wolf Puppy also trying it. King trying it. I respect it. I respect those who are giving it a shot. But uh, let's move to a live POV round. Let's go to Ayoto and see how he is doing this one. Taking it safe and easy. Let's see if he can maintain his top 20 position. Gets the bump on the edge though. You got to avoid that because it is such a sharp one. And it's dropping down a lot. And it's going to be Zyro, Agron, Cheki, Stargod, and Seamus who does get it. Cheki saying, holy shit. Not sure if he went for the cut or is just happy on that position. Bird saying, so slow. So I think a few players still trying it. I want to see someone get like a nine second time. I respect the, uh, the efforts. Max just missing on the finish. Justin. And a few other players not being able to finish. 
All right, go to the third and final round. Who is going to be trying a lot of players, actually? Kip Simon. Smithy getting the fastest start. He's going to fail, though, I think. As well as Bob. So we go to the final finish. Once again, Zyro getting double. Wins on the trot. Vibra, Henry, Chalky, and Ivan. So no one getting the shortcut the fastest. But look how many people tried. I respect it. I honestly respect it. I did it, but missed the finish. Yeah, that will happen. Wait. <laughs> I thought Sandra hadn't got the finish there. What a map. It's going to be Zyro who really gains on that one. Sophie not getting the top 10s, which she may have wanted there. But uh, we go back to another skill map here. I have some wicked bobsleds, wicked drifts. After that wild map last round. Why it's only low maps? I'm thinking about a real ice cup. I mean, it's the Simply Cup. You expect real maps here? Cac W. You've played enough competitions of the Simply Cup, Blingo. You should know. But, uh... I don't know. I... Could have done a lot more... Uh more skillful maps, but got to, uh, got to change it up a little bit. Have some lore maps, have some just complete luck maps, and have some skill maps, like this one. Bird practicing a little bit. Not getting the fastest start, but getting the follow-through really nicely. And that will be the map for this one. Let's go to Super for first out. How many players? 62. I knew there was going to be some rage quits here today, but uh, hopefully the majority of players are enjoying themselves. Hopefully those who are watching are enjoying themselves. So make sure to drop a follow, make sure to drop a sub. If you are new, it does help out. But super, off to a good start, getting a safe 20 position. Oh, I thought he was going to clip there, but does avoid it going over the snow a little bit. Missing the drift because of that. Keeping his top 20. Sliding out a bit too much though, and there's the clip on the checkpoint. That is really unlucky. It's going to be Sophie though, dominating this one. Cyril, Bird, Jarbel, Gandhi, some of the regulars back up in the top. So uh, that mill section, really not that easy. Some uh, wild trees and snow just to watch out for there. Definitely the most crucial part of the map. I think pretty much everyone being able to finish, which is great to see. Cyril though, still out the first. Let's actually go check him out. See how he's doing this one. Up and down, so we're going for an early drift there. Actually doesn't seem to be much different. Zyro though, missing all the signs, missing all the trees. Sophie out in first. But uh, look at that drift on the follow through. Was out in 20th, now out into third with the second drift there. Bird on the battle with Sophie, but going very high as well. Zyro there. So Sophie will be the advantage there on this one. Drac, Bob, Frazix, and Henry also doing very well. Nyo, 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 nyo. Kip, stop trolling, mate. <laughs> so Sophie clawing back a few extra points as we have a couple more maps to go. Let's go to someone we maybe haven't watched. I think Baven we haven't watched. Who is on to a good start here. Getting the right rolls he wants to. We'll have to save that a little bit though. Missing the checkpoint, which we saw a couple of people fall off. Baven drifting out though, missing the gear. 
It will be Zyro now out in first. Is that Sophie trying to battle out into second? No, it's Agron and Bird. As Henry is right behind as well. Sophie may be sliding out in the middle. Only getting 58 points. Still a lot, but can be quite crucial as the top runner gets 120 today on this round. So there we have it for this map. Going into the final few maps, what do we have in store? I thought this was going to be a slightly uh, longer edition, but uh, as we've had a few extra shorter maps, it's going to pretty much be the same. Which is good to see. But uh, what is this? This is a simple but effective map. It is by Sophie herself. I think uh, Sophie and Zyro may have both possibly played this. I'm not sure, but it is what it is sometimes. Getting these random ice maps. Where's the map? Is it under? I've lost the map. It is above. I will say, just try not to finish about five seconds ahead of everyone else. That's all I'm going to say. But let's watch Frazix for the warm-up here. Who is doing it quite good. So we have a closed circuit. Getting some nice drifts. Gets the jump. I, mean, I think we have a quite a long right hander. Pretty short. Into left. And then a finish. So pretty short map. But uh, very crucial to get correct. Later practicing as well. Struggling to get the drifts right. But this is certainly not an easy map. It's a very huntable map. But uh, these can be quite rough to do really good. But here we go into the live round. Definitely these top players will be the ones who get big boy points here, I expect. Let's go to Henry, who is currently in first, gets overtook a little bit, has to save it as well. It's going to be Bird who is out in front, Sophie Gandhi in the battle. I'm getting it very good. Bird sliding out. No, that wasn't Bird. Thought it was. Smithy, I think it was. Henry overtaking Bird, though, who didn't have the greatest line. Sophie on her own map is going to probably win it here. Hashtag rigged in chat, but it is what it is. Sophie makes a lot of ice maps. Sophie plays a lot of ice. That's why she is very close to the top. Zyral, though, still getting banger attempts. Every single round we play. So most of the field coming through as we have some nice clouds on the horizon. Just heading through the map. Wait, Bird! That is big! I'm not sure what happened to Bird. Maybe just practicing the, uh, the map a little bit. Because uh, he slid out somewhere, but not getting any points. That is not what you want. Let's go follow Bob though. Garni Agra out in front once again. Justin Smithy. The early leaders. Smithy getting it really good. Zyro as always still there. Bob currently in fourth. Gonna have more speed as well. Ooh, that's a great slide. Carries a lot of speed through Smithy though. With the advantage at the start. Gonna be holding Bob off here. Bob having to release a little bit on the gear. Will not manage to stay in second, but uh, what a round by those top players. Cyril, Henry, Asmund, Gandhi, and Zima. Sophie getting 85 points as well as Bird. So as I expected, the top players doing very good. Smithy though, the top 10. That is what he wants. Holding off Dennis, who only gets 40. 
So let's actually go to a camera seven for the final round. Who do we have? I bet we have the same as always. No, we have Mr. Drachmix, but he is a bit slow off the start, so let's move a bit further ahead. Dom Bear. And give us a nice middle overview. Gets a bit of a wall bang, but no slowdown penalty. Actually, there is going to be some uh, wall bang changes, so that would be interesting for some future additions, maybe. But that's for the future. No one knows what is in store for that. It's going to be Smithy who is having a great run in the live round. Cyril on a great run. Tom Bear, unlucky clip, and we're going to have a really close. Second to th uh, fourth there. Holy shit. Bob just sniping ahead of Fubear and Cyril. Smithy though with a great run maybe has played the map, I'm not sure. Gandhi Asmund Tennis back in the action on this one. So no one in the top 10 really losing out too many points there. We have two more maps to go. What? is in store. I think uh, I might have miscounted, but that's all right. We will say that this is the second last. But uh, going into figure eight out. So instead of figure it out, who is going to figure the figure eight out the fastest? But we have some yep poles who is going to strive on this one. Let's go to Pormal for a cheeky warm up round. Let's see if he can do it very fast. There's three laps on this one. So similar to that other NASCAR map we had. This is going to be a little bit longer. Hopefully players can... Uh, not lose out too much speed because I think these top players will start the warm up quite early or the timeout. Pormal though doing a very good live uh, warm up round. Dude, I can't talk today. But uh, the entertainment is speaking for itself. Wow, this is a lot of speed to handle. There is going to be a lot of people who fall out just like Pormal is doing there. That is a crazy bit of speed. So this is going to be a wild one. Kip trolling as always. Queen Humans Den is trying their luck in the middle section. I think Cyril and Henry were the first players to get to the finish line. Let's see who is going to be the fastest. Handsomeness says, uh oh, so I think my stream is dead. Hopefully the video will still be here but uh let's pretend like it is chalky on the camera um let's find out how he's doing he is currently in 40th gets a bit of a slower start as we have a nice train of cars here oh but i'm getting a bit of heavy lag let's switch to merlin he's on the wobbles now vibra a little bit further ahead Struggling, but maintaining it now. Ooh, that's a good bit of line to carry the speed through. Gonna be 26, but pushing up a few positions as a lot of players falling out now. Quinn, Asman, Wheels, all on Struggle Street. Let's go to the final camera. Of the above camera as Aona wins it. Bird, Frazix, Paul, and Justin on Banger Runs. The top players haven't finished this yet. Zara getting 88. That's big for Sophie. Who isn't going to be able to finish yet. Only going to get about 50 points. 30 even. That is big as well as Bird getting 114. And Frazix also on a high point round. Wow, that's a bit of a shake up for Leaderboard. Really good for Zyro. Moving 200 points ahead nearly. Let's uh, go check out Bird actually. One of the top positions right now. Bird off to a good start, but Sophie on a banger run. Humans was actually really doing good, but uh, getting the wobbles with more speed. 
Sophie Bird locked in the line of sight. Bird full risking as Sophie uh, releasing a little bit. Going into the final lap. Bird with a wicked bit of speed here. Can he control it? Goes up a little bit high. Bird down. Gonna get the flip though. Risking it too much. Sophie is gonna pass, but Sophie is nowhere to be seen. So I think it's gonna be Zyro. I can't keep up with this round. Holy shit. It's gonna be Zyro, Aona, Gandhi, Bob, and Frazix. That went 0 to 100 so quickly. Zyro, that is what he wanted because Sophie and Bird are only getting 60 50 points each. Similk not finishing just yet does manage to just before the timeout. Holy shit, that was potentially going to be a disaster for those two there. Sophie saying too many low maps this week as she also gets a bit of delay here. That's alright. As long as you had a bit of fun, that is the main thing. But look at this speed carrying through. From 60th to third place right now. Bird and Sandra on the best start. Sophie locked in for the speed. Look at this. Sway. She is up the top right now. Goes for a bit of release to stick herself in this red line. Still Bird going a bit higher. Oh no, Sophie getting a clip on the edge. I thought she had it on lock. So that is good for Bird, who is going to be like five seconds ahead. I was waiting for him to come here. He is five seconds ahead, ladies and gentlemen. Dennis, Justin, Bob, and Dombear. Having good rounds as well, but Bird just getting the ultimate lock there. Sick run. Crazy, crazy round by him. Starting the timeout early as well, so Sophie trolling all of a sudden. Gonna drop down all the way on points. So I think we have our winner. It's not quite over if uh, Zyro gets many DNFs, but... Very good controlling from him that round. Sophie struggling a little bit on this second last map. Which is unfortunate, but she can still hold her head up high. For this final one, which looks to be another skill map. So, no luck to end it on or skill here. Looks like a track of the day S map. Let's hope it is a banger. Last map. Good luck, have fun. So hopefully the internet doesn't die. Let's check out Shroopy for the first live round. Or the warm-up, I should say. I don't think my commentary has been the greatest this week because of all the issues, but yeah, hopefully it's still been pretty good for you guys. Shroopy practicing the full send there, maybe not the uh, tactic you want to do. I'm going to set himself up for the uh, next one though. And is back in the action onto a normal boost, so not a reactor one, into a big boy slide. So Shroopy trying the sharp line there, but uh, you can probably really go full, uh, full around. And then one drop down into a left-hander, and then a final new turn. Uh, Frazix and Ty maybe the players the fastest on this warm-up. A few players checking the GPS as we go in to the final round. Let's check out Frazix, who was up the top on the checkpoints at the end there. So let's find out. If he can control his nerves going in to a nice 100 point battle at the end now. Gandhi the fastest start as well as Henry. Sophie as always up there. Smithy with a wild bit of uh, angle there. Does save it. Frasix with an unlucky hit there. Bird out. Sophie definitely not out but going very inside. We'll use the snow to slow down a bit but into the poles. That is going to be really big for Similk and, uh, no, not Simic. It's going to be big for 
these two up the front. Henry and Zyra on an absolute banger of a battle as no one else is near them. Five seconds again. Wow. That is very, very well played by them. Maybe have played this map. I'm not sure. But uh, great rounds from them. It's going to be Fuba, Bob, Asman, and Bird just behind. So that is really good for Bird trying to pick up these last few points on Sophie. Cyril definitely won it for now. Let's go to Henry who had a great run that time to see what he is going to do here. Gets to drift early. Agra Smithy up the top. You can see Henry controlling it really good. Sophie trying to control it for the final time gets a bad gear though. Doesn't drop too much, I don't think though. Henry now getting a bad gear, so anyone can still win it here. Sophie, Agra on a good run. Zemus, Frazix, Henry on a banger of a drift. Will probably be able to follow it through. Not quite, but does control it well. Gets a bit of an overslide, and it will be Sophie getting the first place, trying to get the final points off a of bird who is. Not being able to finish just yet. No, he does. 70 points. As well as Zyro that. Frazix with a great round. Smithy crashing into the finish. So a few players still in this top 10 area. Battling it out. Going into the very last round of today. Who shall we watch? Let's watch Simon on this one. Gets the first drift. Very good. Into the U-turn uphill. Controls it well. Will overslide slightly so has to save it. Puts himself in a good position. Players starting to learn the map though. Sophie Henry and Sandro was about to be in third. Slides out a little bit. Simon now going very good but will fall off on the top. Zyro! Just giving up completely knows he has won. So that is going to be really good for Sophie. He was going to try and pick up the final 120 points of the day. Does get it with a great drift. Gandhi, Frazix, Henry and Bird. The top five for the final round today. GG. What a battle. Sophie, second place. Bird, third place. Frazix in fourth. Look at that. The top five, showing why they are the top five this week. Other than Zyro, who knew he had won. But uh, there we go. Bob, Henry, Fuber, Similk, and Smithy getting the last place in the top ten there. G G. So, um, yeah, I enjoyed that ice edition. Lucky for some players, unlucky for some players. I'm unsure. Um, I enjoyed it though. Hopefully you enjoyed my casting. Thanks for those who played. Thanks for those who watched. This is on at 11 p.m. Brisbane time every Saturday. Make sure to be there. It's good to see that we went back up to 70 players. I think there was probably 10, 15 rage quitters, but... Uh, Sometimes expected. I mean, I don't personally like the people who don't give ice a go, but that seems to be the thing in this game. You either like it or you don't. But uh, I appreciate those who gave it a shot. Thanks for playing. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll leave it there for this week. GG.